Hello, today we're going to be working on nesting in dictionaries. So I'm just going to go ahead and start off and just go explain it as it's going. So we're going to create a function, a functions piece of code, code that can, you can easily call again and again. So let's start with a, you know, what's a dictionary actually? Let's just do this, a programming dictionary. This is all going to make sense. Oh, let's spell correctly. All right. So with the dictionary, and this is the best way to do it. How, as you see, I put the curly brackets and I did press return to move it on the next line. And that's just so it's easy to see your code. Um, not sure if you ever code in SQL before, but it actually helps a lot in SQL, especially when you're doing a lot of lines of code, because that's the idea. So you would put something in here, you will be like um, bugs, and then you'll put whatever, whatever you want it to be. And then you do function, actually, we can do a fake one, let's do it correctly. Put that over there. Oh yeah, and then actually what goes after this, there you go, quotation marks, there, and that's what you do, and you would do, uh, something else. Let's do birds. We'll just say birds. And then here you go. And you would put, you know, types of birds, you know, blah, 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 bird. And if you had more, more than one thing, blah, 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 bird, so on and so forth. So that's just easy way to, you know, just get us going. Cause I don't actually have an example to show you <laughs> uh, besides like that. So Let's just get started because, like I said, we're doing nestings and dictionaries, but that's like a dictionary, but we're going to be nesting within them. And actually, make sure I have my notes. All right. Dictionaries go in curly brackets and the list goes in the hard brackets. I had to make sure I put that because it's okay to have notes. It's always okay to have notes. If you watch enough of my videos, you know I always have notes off to the side. So if you can see me looking there, because I'm looking at my notes. So the first dictionary, we're going to say capitals. Um, so the first, we're going to do capitals of countries. So the first one will be France. Okay. And then capital France is Paris. All right. And let's pick another country. Let's put USA. Let's put USA. Capital of USA is Washington. We'll just put, no, yeah, we'll spell it out. Washington, DC, All right? And then of course we end that with a comma and look, this is nesting within a function, within a dictionary, because dictionaries have curly brackets. Uh, that's my symbol for curly brackets. Um, maybe other people do that, I never seem to do it, but that's what I do, curly brackets. All right, so now we're gonna do nesting a list inside of a dictionary. So let's just pretend we're going traveling. Let's pick two countries, we'll pick two countries. You know what, we'll pick countries that I'm traveling to this summer. So we're gonna, use, we're gonna make a travel log, okay. okay. And so this summer I am going to Germany. Yes, I really am. Summer 2022, if you're wondering, if you're watching this video in real time. And we're gonna make a list. So we have our hard brackets, just these, no curlies. And so what cities am I gonna visit there? I'm gonna go to Berlin and we'll put that. And I'm gonna go to Hamburg. I'm actually not going to Hamburg. But uh, we'll just put there, and we'll put. Uh, we'll also put another C with H. We got Berlin, Hamburg, Frankfurt. I don't think I'll be going there either, but <laughs> I will be going to Berlin. Um, <laughs> I'll be going to three cities, and those are not it. And so let's. Uh, while I'm in Europe this summer, um, let's. We'll do Italy. I will not be visiting Italy, but we're going to put cities I want to visit in Italy. So we're gonna put our hard brackets and we're gonna start out with Milan. Oh, great. My mind's going to break on cities in Italy because 
Uh, we're just gonna put Italy, Rome. That's right. Rome is in Italy. Oh, how can I forget? Ooh, maybe I should go to Rome. Um, and let's look up. Ah, Venice. Yes, actually, I do always want to see Venice. I always want to see that. Closest I ever got to Venice was the Venetian. <laughs> That's in Las Vegas. That is not. It's not there. So. That is nesting a list in a dictionary. See, that was easy. So right now we're just going through examples. We're not gonna print anything just quite yet. That'll be a little bit later. Um, that'll be in the next video. Cause I just wanna show you this cause the next video, I don't want the video is too long. So I want to be short, sweet and to the point. Um, so let's just say you wanted to do nesting dictionaries in lists. Um, no, you're nesting a dictionary in a dictionary. So you're putting that we went to Germany and you want it to be labeled cities visited. You want the cities and the total visits, right? So we're going to update our travel log, okay? Another travel log. And we're going to, so let's say you want to get a little fancy. So we're going to start off with Germany again. Oh, forgot to put the equal. As you get used to using um, it's probably like, you can't use the same thing twice. Okay, thank you. Um, as you get used to using wherever you're, you're use coding in, this is PyCharm. Um, I prefer PyCharm because I like um, the way that it tells you things and it kind of plans for you. There's um, the Python IDE that if you down, when you download Python, Three, I think that's the one that's listed on their site. Not a really big fan of it. Um, I also like Visual Studio Code. That's another place you can code. Um, there's a couple of different ones out there. So you gotta pick which one you like. So this is the one I like. Um, easiest to use for me. Actually, vi uh, Visual Studio Code is very easy too. Um, I use that when I learned how to code in HTML, CSS and JavaScript. That's what I use, I use Visual Studio Code. So there's different things. And I'm sorry for looking at my Apple Watch, that's not nice. All right, so we're gonna talk about the cities visited. So we're gonna, you're like, okay, well, where did you visit? And we're gonna make a list. So what did I say a list needs? Hard brackets. So we're gonna put them there. And we're gonna go ahead and put, I went to Berlin, went to Hamburg, um, the Frankfurt, well, yeah, I will get to all these cities. Maybe I might visit. Um, I will for sure go to Berlin, but maybe I will get to the other cities. We'll see. We'll see. Total visits. Um, how many times have I visited them? Let's just say I visited them. Um, I've visited total, we'll say five times. That sounds nice. That's a lot of times to visit. <laughs> Very expensive in the US. Uh, use your, um, I, uh, I'm not gonna be plugging any other services. Oops, just on a set. Um, but was it the Chase preferred card? If you're into traveling, they have the best travel points, but that's another YouTube video for another person to do and look it up. And I'm pretty sure there's a whole bunch of YouTubes about what's the best ones um, if you like to travel and get your points. If you're a points type person with your credit cards, that's me. That's, I don't do talk about finances. I'm not good at that. <laughs> All right, so um, we're gonna put Milan again. And then we're gonna put Rome. Okay, now I kind of want to go to these places this summer. So I wonder if I can update my trip. Then we're gonna say Venice. Okay, and then we're gonna put visits. Oh yeah, forgot. It's like, why is it giving me the red line? Remember, red line is your is not your friend. Then we put how many? We're gonna say we went to these places seven times total. And there we go. Okay, so this one right here, I'm gonna actually put what it is over it, what we were doing, see if I can copy from my ex 
examples. Oh, that's not it. That one. Oh, it. Okay. I got to do some undo, undo, undo. I realize it over copied. Great fun stuff. So this was nesting dictionaries. And I spelled dictionaries wrong. Must, right? So now, wait, this was lists in a dictionary. That's a big difference because that means the lists are inside the dictionary. So that's what we did. So remember curly brackets, that's the dictionary. Hard brackets, that is the list. That's the best way for me to remember. So that may help you. So now we're gonna do nesting a dictionary in lists. Oh, yep, yeah, we gotta put this lovely, there we go. Remember, hashtags in front of things that you don't want to use, it's just there for your own reference when you make notes. Um, some people, um, so yeah, when you're coding and you know other people see your lines of code, you'll put notes in there, you know, so people know what's going on. Not people don't know what's going on, they take a guess. Um, some people are very note heavy and some people are very note light. Yeah, that's all personal preference. Um, note heavy, so. <laughs> All right, so remember, we're gonna start off with a list. Remember, lists are hard brackets. So there we go. Instead of doing a dictionary, which is a curly brackets. Okay. All right, so we started off with the list and we're gonna put the dictionary inside. So dictionaries in lists, so our dictionary is going in the list. So what are, Dictionaries, those are curly brackets. See, we did our curly brackets. And we're gonna put a comma at the end of that. Ah, ah, see, this is why this comes in handy. Um, and actually looking at my notes, we don't want this indented over. Okay. Indentions matter, remember, especially in Python. I can't remember in, I haven't coded in SQL in about a year we'll just say they matter over there too. I'm 50% I'm sure, don't quote me on that. So now we're doing our dictionary. So we're just gonna label what things are. So we're gonna do country. France, and a comma. Oops, that's nice about France. There we go. Sounds good. Oh, I'm like, what's missing here? Cause I see that red line. And remember, red lines are not your friends. You see the red line? You gotta figure out what, what do you want red line? So then we're gonna do cities visited. We're doing the same thing we did in the previous example. We're just switching it around, okay? Cities visited, there you go. And then we're gonna put hard brackets. There's petties. Oh, I'm looking at my example. We did not go to France. You know, for this example, we'll go ahead and do it. Because in my example, I have France, but we didn't go to France previously. Well, we're gonna say we did. Um, I might go to France this summer. And uh, Lily, and then Dijon. I did not know this was a city in France until recently. I thought it was just a mustard. Uh, yes. It's a, I think Grey Poupon is Dijon mustard. If you're old enough, there's a commercial. There was a era in time where you pull up someone in a in a limo and you ask them for Grey Poupon and they hand it to you. If you don't get the reference, look it up. <laughs> for the people who do get the reference, that is hilarious. Whole era. Okay, <laughs> so. That's our travel log. Uh, and 
we would need to do, and I apologize, it's not matching with Italy and Germany because what's going off my example and my examples were France and Germany. And I didn't capitalize everything correctly, but it's okay. So the second part of our list, you know what, actually, we're gonna go ahead and fix this. We're gonna fix it. Because I know how I am when people, their examples don't match up, I get confused. So we're gonna go ahead and fix this, so. Berg. Frankfurt. And what was our total visits there? Five. Okay, so we have our dictionary inside of the list. So now we got to make our second dictionary because dictionary probably brackets. Yes, I did look down on my notes because I got to remember. Okay, so we do our curly brackets again. Remember, they are not indented. Okay, so we're gonna press enter again. So remember, like the previous right above, country. And we went to Italy. Oh, there we go. Italy, comma, cities, this for visited. And brackets, where did we go? We went to Milan, we went to Rome, we went to Venice, not the beach in California. I have been to that beach because that's where I'm from, California. I was told I have a California accent which that means I just say the word like, like, like a lot. Like, like, that's what that means. People say that. All right. So now we have our dictionaries in a list. So those are examples I'm gonna show you. You wanna make sure you come back to the next video because we're gonna put all this together. So play around with that. Um, I think I'm gonna, I always like to put resources in the comments so you can look at it, play with it a little bit more. Um, and yeah, uh, thank you for watching my video. Remember to like and subscribe and share with your friends working on getting more followers because actually I would love to change my URL to be Nikki the YouTube.com was it forward slash Nikki the analyst but YouTube will not let me do that until I get a certain amount of followers. So please help me get more followers and subscribe. It's not followers, it's subscribers, tweeters, whatever. Help me get more people and you learn something, I learned something, ask me some questions. All right, Nikki the Analyst, follow me on Instagram and on Twitter, Nikki the Analyst, everything's the same. Just Google it, I'm there. All right, thank you for your time and talk to you later.